All right, guys, so we're out here with Charlie from MA Performance, and behind me, we got the beautiful 2022 Subaru BRZ, and I couldn't be more excited because I've been wanting to drive one of these things for freaking ever. As soon as they were announced, I'm like, I gotta get my hands on one of those, I gotta go drive it, and I gotta see how it compares to the previous generation, because if you didn't know, I used to own an FRS. I owned it for about five years, and I absolutely loved that car, and a lot of people were saying that this is the best next step, and they really did a good job on the sequel to the first generation. So, Charlie, why don't you tell me what exactly we got here? So I've, as you said, and obviously as you guys can tell, it's a 2022 Subaru BRZ. Uh, we picked up the car pretty quickly after they got released. Uh, started doing some development work to it. Uh, currently as the car sits, it has our uh, production catback exhaust. It is actually available for purchase now. Um, then also obviously went ahead and did some coilovers. If you guys don't know, we're launching a coilover brand pretty yeah, soon yeah. here. Uh, called Evolved Coilovers. So we've got those on there. We've been dialing those in for a while on this chassis specifically. Um, then we've also gone ahead and upgraded the front and rear sway bars from our friends at Eibach. Uh, those actually helped stiffen up the chassis oh, a yeah. ton. <laughs> um, and then to follow standard BRZ, FRS, you know, ownership GR86 stuff, we went ahead and did a shifter. Uh, we actually went and did the IRP uh, chassis mounted shifter from the first gen, uh, which makes it feel absolutely- It's incredible. It's so notchy, it's so tall, it's perfect. Yeah. It feels really great. It feels really um, very just like track inspired, yeah. right? It makes you feel uh, confident. In Absolutely. Um, on top of that, we went ahead and did the Rays 57 Transcend wheels uh, and the gunmetal gray finish with the yellow Euro stripe. Initially, I've got to be honest, I was not a fan of the Euro stripe, but I think it's kind of grown on me a little bit. But yeah. that's about it for like performance mods on the car. We've done some aesthetic stuff, which I yeah, see, we got yeah, back. we got some carbon and stuff going on back there, yeah. but. Overall, first impression of the car, absolutely love it. We drove it out here, we ripped it around a little bit. Feels fantastic, and like I said, it, it feels right at home. It's a nice upgrade. It, it's not completely different from the first generation, I'd say. It's, like I said, it, it's a more modern take on the car, and I think they did an incredible job. They fixed a lot of the quirks that the first one had. Obviously, the most notable one being that torque dip, the horrendous torque dip of the FA20. Uh, we got a little bit more displacement, and we got rid of that torque dip, and it feels great. It feels like it should have, or like when you do the unequal length and tune to get rid of that, it comes like that from the factory now, so it feels really, really good. So yeah, let's take a look around the car. Obviously, the 57 Transcends, I love these wheels. I think they look crazy good on this car. Um, like I said, the lowered on the Evolve coilovers, and then we got some carbon stuff back here. So this is the HKS duckbill yeah. wing. HKS duckbill wing, uh, we actually have the full HKS kit that they did from the SEMA 2021 show. If anybody saw the red car, I'm sure we could lay over an image of that here. <laughs> uh, nonetheless, we really liked the kit when we saw it in person. So we went ahead and purchased one kind of right away. Sure. Um, and that was last year, November. Fun fact, that HKS kit showed up about a month ago. <laughs> Uh, about a full year. <laughs> the car uh, unfortunately has undergone a couple battle scars here and there. I'm sure we can go ahead and lay some B-roll over of those. Uh, we're planning to get that stuff fixed and at the same time then we'll have the kit painted and installed yep. over the winter because there's really no better time here in the Midwest to have a car go under the knife than when you while. can't drive it. Yeah. yeah, then when you literally can't do anything with it. So absolutely. hopefully that'll be done here before spring and whatever else. But for now, we're just kind of going to deal with it having some battle scars. Cool. I think the wing looks absolutely killer. Can't wait to see the rest of the HKS kit on it. I'm sure it'll look fire. Uh, let's come around back to the exhaust. So you said this is your actual production exhaust. This is ready to go for the new BRZ 8.6 yep. uh, right now. And it looks really good. Honestly, it looks OEM plus in the fact that you don't have like some big mufflers hanging down or like right. some crazy pipes or anything. Yep. I think it looks killer. It sounds very modest, but it sounds good. Yeah. Um, obviously, we were kind of talking about this in the car. You can have, you have two different types of people. You want the people, or you have the people that want this as their fun daily driver. That's kind of me. And then you have the people that are like, no, I want to go crazy with it. I'll make it loud as possible. The lightest way to <laughs> Yep. And Tomei is a great business to support. Absolutely. But the MA Performance Exhaust on here sounds absolutely killer. This, like you said, there's a full cap back, ready to go. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah, I think the feedback we got from the general consumer base about the cap back was, you know, from outside the car, it doesn't sound insane. Like you can hear the car coming, yep. but it doesn't make it sound unrealistically loud. Your neighbors aren't gonna hate you. And then when you're in the car, you get just enough of that exhaust note to not be overbearing or annoying. Sure. So road trips, gonna be mm -hmm. a great car. It's it's a great cap back for someone who drives this every season. Absolutely. And we were kind of talking too, like, from the factory, these cars are incredibly quiet. They are so quiet, there's no induction noise, 
there's no exhaust noise, you can't really hear anything. Uh, so you guys were talking about doing something with the header and then an intake in the near future as well. Yep. And I think that'll open up the car a ton. But as it sits right now, this thing was an absolute blast to drive. Coming from a previous generation owner uh, for multiple years and doing kind of similar modifications, right. the suspension, your wheels and tires, you know, just like the, the driver feel mods. Mm -hmm. I'd say that they took that to the next level here and it feels really, really good. I'm glad we're making dreams come true. <laughs> All right, Tyler, so we're talking about the exhaust. Can we hear it? Absolutely. I want to hear it from outside the car. I heard it from inside the car. Well, I want them to hear it. That's clean. That is a clean sounding exhaust. I love that. That sounds so good. It's very, very subtle. You get a little bit, honestly, not much of the Subi rumble. Obviously, the header, stuff like that, really changes it, really makes it a lot more loud. Um, but honestly, just for a catback exhaust, I don't think you could ask for much more. That sounds really good. No, it feels, feels very, very similar. So you said we got the Evolve coilovers on here. Yep. Got some Eibach sway bars. Yep, front and rear. rear. Awesome. Then, um, IRP shifter, obviously. Yeah. This is from the actual first gen. We were yeah. looking for a short shifter, but at the time, nobody had released a short shifter because the lockout was different. And the sure. only reason this would work is because it's got the push down button on top instead of the directional lockout yeah. change. So, no, it feels great, man. Like, honestly, I think they updated the interior nicely. It's not over the top or anything like that. That was what I really enjoyed about mine. It was like, it was very basic. And this is still basic, but yep. it gives you a nice update. Yep. Yeah, I, I think this is one of those things where they didn't try and do anything nuts. Yeah. I mean, again, some of that stuff tends to kind of get outdated really quickly anyways. Sure. So keeping it simple was really, I think, the idea here. All right, guys, so there you have it. There's a quick review of the 2022 MA Performance Subaru BRZ. Charlie, thank you so much for letting us get our hands on this. Anything. And of course, just, you know, check it out. So I'd love to know your guys' thoughts on the new BRZ or the GR86. That's not going to lie, I'm not partial to GR86. <laughs> but let us know down in the comments below. And if you need parts for your new BRZ, GR86, or whatever else you might have, check out MA Performance. If you need wheel tire suspension, check out us, BimminIndustries.com. That's all I got. That's it. Bye. <laughs>